uh, literally around the globe today. Obviously, here in the United States, it is Election Day, so make sure you get out and vote. Uh, but the EU uh, cuts uh, Eurozone growth forecasts. Essentially, um, you know, they're citing Ukraine, uh, events in the Middle East, but uh, – the EU is an absolute clown car, folks. And according to uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, a bunch of their internal modeling, you know, they're, the, the Europe is uh, in a triple dip recession here. So get ready. We actually later in the week have a Mario Draghi press conference on a Thursday ECB meeting. So uh, Mario Draghi is under a, a lot of uh, pressure to, to really do something. OK, so we'll see if Mario Draghi jumps into the uh, Kuroda Bank of Japan pool uh, of coming out of the blue with uh, some quantitative easing or even some direct uh, asset purchases. So really interesting uh, to see uh, news coming out of uh, Europe. Here in the United States, we're kind of uh, wallowing around here in the market. Dow's essentially un- unched. Uh, S&P's down a little bit, maybe 8, 10 uh, points, just uh, wallowing around with no major drivers. The only real big uh, macroeconomic report out today was the uh, the, the Q3. Q3 uh, GDP kind of a heads up because the U.S. trade deficit was worse than expected as goods and actually uh, as exports and imports drop. Usually it's it's a, uh, a kind of a scale. You know, exports are good, imports are bad, and vice versa. This time it's kind of like a barbell. Both both these things are uh, not uh, doing so well. Biggest uh, deficit since April. Okay, we missed expectations and uh, just it, it, it's kind of solidifying the idea that not only is there slack in foreign demand for U.S. goods, but the U.S. manufacturing sector is also undergoing contractionary realignment. Okay, so that's definitely not good uh, for Q3 uh, GDP. Okay, Um, AIG came out with earnings yesterday. Really nice beat. Uh, Completely uh, blew away uh, top line numbers there. Stock's a little bit down today, but we uh, covered this in our uh, primary live trade brief. Definitely we'd be looking at this as an opportunity to potentially get uh, long AIG. We have a bunch of long call diagonals that are looking really, really solid in our uh, model portfolio. Uh, This one's been on the longest. It's up about $7,400 long call diagonal. So really like AIG. Like it on this this pullback here, and I'd be looking to uh, get long. You really can't you know, take a look at the past two years, uh, actually two years on AIG. You can't, um, I mean, geez, that is just the trend's your friend with AIG. Uh, so like an AIG, uh, really funny that about 1400 points ago on the Dow, uh, St. Louis fed president Bullard said, uh, you know, Hey, I, I wouldn't be, uh, averse to a QE, uh, four type of thing. Remember that? And, and he kind of, um, you know, and, and you can see down at the bottom there, mid-October, a logical policy response at this juncture is to delay the end of QE, meaning as the market imploded, you know, so look up at the top here, we should be willing to remove accommodation. What happens? Market goes full freak mode. Market goes freak mode. Well, we can't let that happen. So, uh, you know, a logical policy delay, boom. And then here we are all the way up here. Economy in good shape. No need uh, for more QE now. I mean, this guy, it, these Fed folks are supposed to provide us guidance and clarity and be a calm, steady hand. And this dude's just uh, all over the place. Uh, and, and the market is reacting accordingly. So, uh, Mr. Bullard, uh, get your message in line here because the market's really uh, getting uh, sick of your uh, I think the Zero Hedge headline says it best there. Okay, so uh, good stuff going on here. We have a couple weekly options trades, uh, one on Chipotle, one on Apple that are looking uh, pretty good. Had a good primary live trade brief today. Have some uh, options training tomorrow night. So good stuff going on. Keep an eye, obviously, on the flight schedule for Friday. The biggest thing going on is uh, our uh, non-farm payroll numbers and the unemployment rate. So get ready for that. And then Ms. Yellen will follow up after that with uh, her comments. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what the print on the jobs number is and exactly how uh, the chairwoman spins it, okay? So have a great rest of your day. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge. I'll be back with tomorrow's sit rep. We'll see you.